do a little bit of enthalpy uh, delta H calculation practice um, using this equation. Methanol can be produced in a reaction between carbon monoxide and hydrogen according to the following equation. Notice that we've got one mole of carbon monoxide reacts with two moles of hydrogen and 90 kilojoules of energy to produce one mole of uh, methanol. Is this reaction endothermic or exothermic? I don't have delta H written on the side, but I do have an amount of energy written on my reactant side. So if I have energy as a reactant, that must mean that I'm putting energy into the system, so the reaction is endothermic. Well, being that it's an endothermic reaction, that means that delta H has to be what? It's got to be positive. And if we were to just briefly represent the energy diagram of this reaction, we would have we can draw an endothermic reaction. Well, remember, endothermic, we've got to put energy in, and the potential energy of the products is going to be greater than the potential energy of the reactants. So we can quickly draw this as an endothermic reaction, where we have our potential energy and our reaction progress on the bottom. Okay? Let's take a look at some calculations using the same equation. So when we're given uh, delta H, that is for the entire reaction. Notice it's 90 kilojoules that's needed to convert one mole of CO and two moles of hydrogen to give us one mole of methanol. So that 90 kilojoules can be written as a conversion factor. So I need 90 kilojoules per one mole of carbon monoxide, 90 kilojoules per two moles of hydrogen, and 90 kilojoules per one mole of methanol. Okay? And we can use that conversion factor to determine how much energy is released given different amounts of reactants and products. All right. So the first question is asking you, what amount of energy in joules is consumed when we have 3.5 moles of carbon monoxide reacting with excess of hydrogen gas. Okay, so what are we given? We're given that we've got 3.5 moles of carbon monoxide, and we're also given that delta H is 90.0 kilojoules. And what do we need? We need energy in joules. Ah, joules. We're giving kilojoules, so that means that our answer, we've got to do conversion to make sure that we have um, the right value. So we need to know the energy in joules. Remember, we always start with what we're given. We're given 3.5 moles of carbon monoxide. And we want to know the amount of energy that's consumed based on that. So using our uh, kilojoules per mole CO, we're going to use that conversion factor to help us determine the amount of energy. We put our 90.0 kilojoules on top and our one mole of CO on the bottom. We plug and chug that into our calculator and we get 315 kilojoules. However, the question is asking for our value in joules. So one kilojoule is 1,000 joules. We get 315,000 joules, but we have to have our sig figs have to be two significant figures, so that would be 320,000 joules, or we can write that as 3.2 times 10 to the 5 joules. 
Our next question is asking what amount of energy in calories is absorbed when 2.25 moles of hydrogen gas completely reacts in the presence of excess carbon monoxide? Well, what are we given? We're given that we have 2.25 moles of hydrogen gas, and we know that our delta H is 90.0 kilojoules. We need our energy in calories, all right? So what is our energy in calories starting with 2.25 moles of hydrogen gas? Well, we're going to end up using this conversion factor up here where there are 90 kilojoules of energy produced, well, energy absorbed for every two moles of hydrogen that is consumed. Well, we, the question says that we've got to figure out in calories, so we've got to convert our kilojoules. You can either convert your kilojoules directly to calories, but to avoid messing up and trying to remember what the conversion is, let's just say that one kilojoule is equal to a thousand joules and then we know that one calorie is 4.184 joules. Let's see, everything cancels out, moles of hydrogen, kilojoules, kilojoules, joules, and joules, and we're left with calories. We end up with 24199. We need to have three significant figures in our answer. So that is 220. 4,200 calories, or we can say 2.42 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4 calories. Last problem. What amount of energy in kilojoules is absorbed when 25.0 grams of carbon monoxide is completely consumed. Well, what are we given? We are given that we have 25.0 grams of carbon monoxide and we need energy in kilojoules. But we're missing one piece of information. We have moles from our reaction and we've got kilojoules, but we're given grams. So we have to actually first figure out what the molar mass of CO is. And that's gonna be 12.01 plus 16 gives us 28.01 grams per mole. So let's determine how much energy we need when 25 grams is consumed. So we need our energy in kilojoules, and we always start with what we're given, 25.0 grams of carbon monoxide uh, times one mole of carbon monoxide, which is 28.01 grams of carbon monoxide. And based on um, our balance equation, we know that for every one mole, of carbon monoxide consumed, I need 90.0 kilojoules of energy absorbed. Make sure everything cancels out, our grams, moles, and we're left with kilojoules. You plug that into your calculator and you get 80.3 kilojoules of energy. We have three sig figs and that is the answer.